What's going on, everybody? Dan Unfiltered, Unfiltered Reactions, checking out Between the Buried and Me. The future is behind us. I love that name. That's a great name. Between the Buried and Me. For me, number one band name of all time, I think, is As I Lay Dying. I just think that just... It sets the tone. <laughs> it, it really sets the tone in the room. As I Lay Dying. It's awesome. Between the Buried and Me, though. The more I the more I say it and the more I read it and look at it, the better it sounds. It's like a secret. Like a secret, but it's only between the buried and me. Fire. A fucking fantastic name. This comes from Matt H. Appreciate you, homie. I think I have heard one buried me song. What's called the uh, Extremophile? Extremophile Elite? I think I heard the live version of that like a year or two ago, like uh, quite some time. So I don't really remember what they sound like. I remember the key, they had like a keyboardist that was doing some weird shit in that. <laughs> Did they have a xylophone too? Something. A tuba? I don't know. Th that was a crazy song. But let's check this out. The future is behind us. Hit like, subscribe. I would appreciate it. And sorry for the delays. The thing is, I get like small colds, not not the uh, not the corona, small colds anytime weather shifts. So I get like a cold twice a year when it turns cold, like really cold, and then when it turns really hot. And in Georgia, where I am at the moment, there's no warning. No warning at all. It'll be 70 degrees and then 30 like 2 days later, and that's when all of a sudden I got the sniffles. And it always happens in December. So December and then like probably March or April, all of a sudden it's 108 degrees and I'm fucking sick again. But let's check this out. Not the angle I expected. The approach to this song. I was expecting Carnage. I kind of expected, or I kind of remember the Extremophile to be all harsh vocals and pretty, yeah, some, some weird instruments, but pretty punch in the face. This is taking like a jazzy route. going on this is not at all like the uh, extremophile not that I remember yeah the keyboard is still doing his thing but it sounds like a whole different band did the singer even do any clean vocals in the other song the extremophile elite I don't recall any he might have again it's been two years I think but I remember harsh screaming vocals. He is chilling in this song. And the whole mood <laughs> is entirely different. Whoa. 
I like the ranch. I appreciate the ranch. I always say that. No album is perfect to me. Like when I listen to whole albums, no album is perfect. You can't get an A+. Plus if you don't have a ballad or something soft, something different. You gotta have a tone shift. You gotta have range. By the way, the singer looks kind of like uh, Jared Leto, but in the future. <laughs> you know what I mean? An older Jared Leto. Now that, that was an experience. <laughs> that was an experience. <laughs> Did not see that coming at all. I expected Carnage with some keyboard intro and probably outro. Based again, based on what I remember from the uh, Extremophile song. But nah, nah, this was everywhere. Everywhere. Holy shit. That is one of the least, like, least predictable songs I have heard. 
that wasn't done by Poppy this of 2021. That was crazy. It was fantastic. <laughs> Especially the second half. Because said I appreciate they started it. All calm, cool, soft, clean vocals. Wasn't even really singing. Kind of like talk singing. He was he was just chilling. Most of the instruments, just chilling. Bow, 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 bow. Keeping the same rhythm, setting a nice little mood. Then the second half, all hell breaks loose. He gets... It's harsh vocals, but it's still calm harsh vocals. If you know what I mean. The instruments, still doing the same basic rhythm and melody, just harder now. That was awesome. Yeah, that's one you got to listen to a few times. That's crazy. So much was going on. And do they have two keyboardists? Or just one? I, I, I thought I saw someone playing the keyboard, but then like the bassist or something was playing the bass and then stopped to also hit a couple keys. I don't know. They have a hell of a lot going on. I can't imagine what a full album from them would sound like. Because that range was crazy. The tone shift mid-song. Crazy. But I liked it. I liked it. I could see some people might say not for them. I could see that. But I like rides. Sometimes it's nice. Because a lot of times you... you... Like, I, I really like As I Lay Dying. I do. But I know what for the most part, what I'm going to get, what they're going to hand me. Five Finger Death Punch. Cool band. But, I know basically what they're going to hand me. Like the most recent Slipknot album. Loved it. Fucking fantastic album. Fantastic. Spiders is a song that stands out, because who the fuck saw that coming on that album? Nobody. So it's fun sometimes to have something that's just a swing for the fucking fences. The future is behind us is one of those. <laughs> Hell of a good time, though. Hell of a good time, though. Let me know what you guys think down below. And Matt, this was a good one, man. This was a good one. This is a fun one. This is a fun one. This is one that you got to smile when you listen to. Like, how do you not? If you're a lover of music, how do you not at least enjoy it? Even if it's not for you, you got to enjoy this song. It's a fucking ride. <laughs> it's, a, it's a ride. And if you are still here, then you are a real one.